Jameson Crowder ready to take on a starring role in Redskins' depleted offense. With the score knotted at 3-3, quarterback Kirk Cousins had marched the Washington Redskins to the New York Giants' six-yard line only to lose ground on a sack and a holding penalty. His options were few, staring at third and 15, so it looked as if the Redskins would settle for a field goal and yet another deflating red zone for it. Sizing up his targets and a swarming Giants secondary, Cousins broke to his right, locked eyes with wide receiver Jamison Crowder and threw a dart on the run as Crowder backtracked, in sync with his quarterback, to an undefended spot. The result was a 15-yard touchdown catch, Crowder's first of the season, that energized a stymied Redskins offense and proved pivotal in a 2010 victory that kept Washington's waning playoff prospects alive. Rarely does a player get that open, Cousins said Sunday of Crowder, 24, who went on to a career day on Thanksgiving night, finishing with a career-high 141 yards on seven catches, 20.1 yards per catch average. The off-schedule play probably wouldn't have been possible in 2015, when Cousins was a first-year NFL starter, Crowder was a rookie and neither had much familiarity with the other. We obviously had to be on some type of connection, Crowder said of the touchdown after a rare Sunday practice at Redskins Park, where the team launched into preparations for Thursday night's game at Dallas, which shares Washington's 5-6 record. He had to feel the defense and be comfortable throwing that pass. At 29, Redskins Kirk Cousins dreams of ending his career on my terms the play's success says just as much about Crowder and what separates him in his third NFL season, from younger receivers who might work just as hard but execute their roles letter perfectly to a fault, like an actor who's faithful to the script but freezes if required to improvise. Crowder, is really starting to show what he is all about, Coach Jay Gruden said Sunday. Sometimes he gets lost in the mix, but now he is becoming a feature-type guy and he is taking advantage of every ball that is coming his way. He is going to be critical down the stretch for us to be successful. The Redskins received just enough from their offense to beat the Giants that's particularly true this season given the attrition in the Redskins receiving ranks. Toro Pryor Sr., eyed as a featured playmaker, failed to develop as hoped and underwent season-ending ankle surgery earlier this month. Chris Thompson, the versatile third down back who at one point led all Redskins receivers suffered a season-ending broken leg at New Orleans in Week 11. And the return of tight end Jordan Reed, who has missed five games with a hamstring injury, remains a mystery, with Red unable to practice Sunday. That leaves Crowder as Cousins' most trusted receiver over the five games that remain. If some Redskins fans questioned the wisdom of former general manager Scott McLuhan spending a fourth-round draft pick on a 5'8 wide receiver from Duke in 2015, the team's defensive backs didn't. Cornerback Bosch had Breland, a former standout at Clemson, played against Crowder in college. Going into the game, against Duke, we thought he was their number two receiver, but he showed us he was the number one receiver, Breland said. Safety D'Angelo Hall, whose career at Virginia Tech preceded Crowder's at Duke, followed the Blue Devils' wideout and return specialist with interest on TV, and vividly remembers the game in which Crowder set the ACC's career receiving record, 283 receptions, so he was thrilled when the Redskins drafted him. I knew when we got him, we got a dude who can play, Hall said. Magic to watch is how Hall describes it when Crowder as an NFL rookie, blended into the Redskins' offense opposite Reed, with the speedy Deshaun Jackson on the outside and tough-nosed Pierre Garkin in the mix, too. This season, however, Crowder says he pressed too much at the outset. He missed a good bit of training camp practice with a hamstring injury and muffed a punt in the season opener. Through six games, Crowder had just 19 catches for 149 yards. Crowder said he is unsure why he was pressing, dismissing a suggestion that he felt he had to contribute more after Jackson and Garkin departed via free agency. Obviously, I feel like any time I'm on the field, I want to make plays, Crowder explained. This year, I kind of started out trying to make plays a little too much. Ike Hilliard, the Redskins wide receivers coach, simply advised him to relax.
The two have a strong, mutual respect and share a steady demeanor, so it was easy for Crowder to listen. With Thompson's season over, more plays came Crowder's way against the Giants. We fed CT because he was hot, and now we've got to find a guy who's hot, so Crowder's getting.